Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're trying to how to make sense and channel we to and Python. We want to make a tag, so I want to say sentence generator using Python. First thing I want to do is make, I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it utils.py. Also, you have to save it in the folder where your Python product is. So, you want to name it utils.py. So, with this utils.py, I'm going to write. So, I'm going to make a list called names. I want to set it equal to. And since at least we use these square brackets. I'm going to write in some names. That going to and it was just closing square bracket. Now, if we go back to our original Python file, and we import utils, which is the file we made right now. So, so if I say something like print utils dot names. Shows the list. Well, instead of having to write that, you can just write from utils import asterisk means everything. Well, instead of putting utils.names, you can just write print names. I'm going to put this in the function. I'm going to say def main. So now I'm going to call the main function. Writing main, and then putting those two parentheses. So it shows the same result. I'm going to go back to our details.py. I want to say verbs equals to. I want to say. I want to say. Goes. to say has and to say well and to say, well, I also want to say I want to say makes then I'm going to, then I'm going to say writes I'm also want to do a read so now I'm going to end it with this closing square bracket if you also do print verbs, it shows off then. If you also do print names, comma, verbs. So if we run it now, it shows them together. So instead of that, I'm going to say from random, which is a library that comes with Python, import. And then, so that does is that. And what's random does is that it just does a random number. So if I do print and in five comma twenty, I'm going to say sixteen. If I run this again, I'm going to say six. Run it again, I'm going to say twenty. So you know, it's just a random number. So, we get to make a new function. I'm going to call it index. And that was a function. That was a parameter named list. I'm just going to name it L. So, so you say return. I'm going to return L. 
And then put these square brackets to access an item info list. Just say random dot random. So I'm going to say zero, which will be the first item of the list, and L dot length minus one will be the last item of the list. I'm just going to put this in a variable called list underscore length. Because it's already equal to that out length minus four or it's minus one. I'm going to put that list length variable over there. So if I print index, and that is what to do like the names. Let just see that. Okay. Instead of saying L dot length, I want to say len L. I'm just doing just from random dot random to just random. Now it says one of them. So I can put in while a while true. I was going to be doing it forever. So I run it. Doesn't, it doesn't but it keeps on doing it and we want it to have like a delay just say from time import sleep so now we're gonna say so in the main function I want to say time I just have to say sleep 0 0.5 actually I'm going to put that in a variable naming it delay I'm going to set it equal to 1 so it's delay so it's going to for 1 second and I'm going to have to wait for 1 second before it does it you can see that each name is a random name of the names list so it works So, so, so I'm going to I'm so going to make a new variable. It's called name it goes to in that names. So I'm just gonna print out the name variable. I'm going to show the same thing. I want to make a new variable called verb. Let's say equal to index verb verbs. So if I print verb, it shows a random verb on the verb list. And if I say print name comma verb, it says the name and the verb. So, so I'm going to make a, a new variable. I'm going to call it mids, which means it's going to, go to be in the middle. So, the, so like the first item of the mids list has to be for the first item of the verb list. The second item for the mids list has to be for the second item of the verb list. So. I'm going to say two, so I'm going to say goes two. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for all the others. I'm just going to end the list. So, so if we say mid equals to index mid, then I'm going to add the comma right in the mid. Just that, but there's a problem that some of them don't make sense. So we want it so that if 
is choose this item like four of the verbs list. It's going to choose item four of the mid list. So it's dead. I'm going to I'm going to make the mid to equal to I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to call it verb index. I'm going to set it equal to zero. I did this. I'm going to say global verb index. So I'm going to copy this to say verb index. Go to that thing that we copied. Say index over here. I'm going to say mid equals to verbs. I'm going to say verb index. What does that? I'm also supposed to say mid verb index. Now it does it. So I'm going to make one more list and call it ends. We'll try to equal to we'll set it equal to the cat. And then it's going to be dunk. dunk. And then I'm going to write. I'm going, I'm going to write. Um, so then I'm going to end it with this closing bracket. So. I'm going to say and set equal to mid say verb index. I'm just gonna say and verb index. So I'm gonna say name verb oh, my mid oh, my and now does it So I generate a random sentence from the lists that made. So anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave like and subscribe. So bye.